Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Today we're going to talk about this incredible Jonathan Isaac card, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. I just want to stress to you right now, again, I'm hopping right into it. This card right here is by far either the best or the second best defensive card in the game right and he has the better releases of all the cards that are going to compete with him as the best defensive player in the game now i highly recommend and i see i i seen some people was talking about like yo put him at the small four spot hell to the nine don't put to do that small four like why would you put him at the small four position when at the end of the day his best position where he's going to dominate at is going to be the power forward position all right so you put him at a small forward position when you have like to me your shooting guard and a small forward they should be your 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 scores those should be the ones that you're trying to you know get buckets with you got to have those two out there do not be trying to put this dude at small forward i'm telling you right now don't do it don't do it don't do it it does not make any sense because the best way to, the best bang for your buck to get what you want out of him is going to be at power four because he is extremely fast 92 speed he'll be really fast in the transition but look at his defense 94 interior 94 perimeter so why waste a really good power forward that can play the perimeter and put him at small forward when you already know there's a small forwards that can play really good perimeter defense put this guy at the power forward position okay then what you want to do okay again like i said this is just me me just talking about me talking right the badges that you want to upgrade because look at all these badges that he has here look at this look at this i mean like it's insane right and we're going to do some comparisons in a second right but the badges that you want to get is one here you want to get this right here you want to get rebound chaser okay you want to get that first that's the first badge that you want to get don't worry about the box out right get the rebound chaser then get break starter okay so these two are going to be the most important right now rebound chaser break starter right get those when it comes to the shooting okay there's no badges here that's worth that you that you can get and you don't need to upgrade any other badges in my opinion humble opinion you don't need to, to upgrade any of those okay now when it comes to like your additional badges that you can potentially upgrade me personally it will either be the bell out definitely do the needle threader get giant slayer you're a 610 power forward you're going to be able to activate that okay now when it comes to why he's the best, I'm going to get into why I feel like he's the best now, okay? He has one of the smoothest releases, and he's the best. The two power forwards are defenders that, a lot, that are the best, and the command. people try to argue this, and I think it's ridiculous. The first one's going to be Karl Malone, all right? Karl Malone, in my opinion, has some of the most astronomical stats I've ever seen, man. Like, they really juice the hell out of this guy. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Now, he is an inch taller, I mean shorter, and he has two inches and length that are um that uh he gives up to jonathan isaac that's the reason why even though i feel like carmelo has better numbers look at this though look at the look at the comparison carmelo faster right more acceleration kills him in vert destroys him in strength he also has you know box out brick wall and all that type of stuff isaac doesn't have that but the way that this game is made and people playing five out like yeah, you are asking for screens with that with, with Jonathan Isaac. You will be asking for screens for me. He cannot get box out. Okay, so you got to keep that in mind. But if you're talking about just from a defensive standpoint, look at these defensive badges here. Okay, so Carmelo has a 97. He has a 94. They both have the same 94 perimeter defense. They both have the same 94 lateral quickness. He has Isaac has a better pass perception and a way much higher steal and of course blocks is um one attribute higher too. Then we come look at the badges. And again, we're just talking about defense here, so we're not worried about anything else. Look at this, man. He gets the Glove Hall of Fame over him, Chase Down over him, Challenger over him. He gets the Workhorse over him. Again, this is, um, let me go new, new Jinx. I saw, so we make sure we got everything here. Okay, good. Right Stick Ripper over him, Workhorse over him. He move on Forcer, it goes to Malone. Box Out goes to Malone. Brick Wall goes to Malone. Rebound Chaser goes to Malone, but you can upgrade Rebound Chaser, okay? So, in my humble opinion, Isaac has the better badges because this game is perimeter based, right? Like your center should be the one dominating down low, trying to get those rebounds. But at the end of the day, Jonathan Isaac is the better card between the two. Isaac has a better release. Isaac just a better perimeter defense. But Carl Malone, if you want to have those screens, if you want to have those um, 
the ability to have the strength and the box out and all that type of stuff, then Carmelo would be the better card. But you're splitting hairs. But if you're talking about just straight down the middle, Isaac is the better defender, all right? Because he's an inch taller with two inch, two inches in wingspan. That's in my opinion, okay? The next person, right, is Alonzo Mourning, all right? Alonzo Mourning currently right now starts for me at power forward and, and Karl Malone comes off the bench. So I'm trying to make the decision of who do I take off. Now, Karl Malone basically has like the like dashing from Street Fighter wingspan, bro. Like seven foot six is absolutely insane. And that's why he starts at power forward for me right now. Alonzo Mourning starts at power forward for me because his numbers, again, are just out of this world, right? But look at Isaac is, is doing to make me be like, yo, like Isaac might be in the mix. Isaac has 92 speed. He's faster than Alonzo Mourning, right? Look at the vert. Alonzo has him there. Both of these guys, Alonzo and, and Wilson, have better strength than him, right? So that's one thing also to keep in mind. But then check this out. Look at the defense. Alonzo has a 97 tier defense. This is crazy. And a 93 perimeter. Isaac has a 94. Isaac has better help defense IQ, better lateral quickness by one, pass perception. Also, he has a steal. Then, then again, Alonzo has him in the block, okay? Now, when you come to the badges... Look at these badges again. We're talking, okay. And again, if we're talking about shooting, obviously Isaac has a way much better release, okay? Way much better release. But then check this out here. Look at the badges that Lonzo Morning starts off with, and look at the badges that Isaac have, right? Pretty, pretty amazing. But Monzo has the Movement Forcer Hall of Fame. He has the box out, the brick wall, and the rebound chaser. Again, you can get rebound chaser with Isaac, you can't get brick wall with, um, with Isaac so unfortunately he will not have it but if you're talking just straight defensive this in my opinion again Isaac comes out on top right as a defensive player but if you're talking about wanting that you know that brick wall because you're setting screens are you calling plays me I'm literally most of the time getting screens set by anybody and everybody to be honest with you so let's not make it like you know the brick wall is really that important because I'm getting screen set for my small forward, my power forward. Sometimes my shooting guard sets a screen for me if I'm running for my PG. Like, it doesn't really matter in my opinion, right? But again, that might matter to you. But there is no debating that right now he's in the mix as the best defensive power forward in the game. And, and it's really between Alonzo Mourning and Karl Malone. I don't want to hear no one else bring up Thorough Bailey. Like, I'm going to show Thorough Bailey just one time. And this is for the last time, right? Thorough Bailey, okay? So, again, people want to sit here and try to say Thorough Bailey's better. He's not better than Malone. He's not better than Morning, And he's not even better than um, Jonathan Isaac. But I don't know why people consider him a great defender. He is 6'11 with a 7-foot wingspan. Yeah, he's an inch shorter, but he has 2 inches in wingspan. Wingspan is way much more important than height, okay? Like, it, 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 it is. So, when we look here at the attributes, again, look at this. Isaac is um, faster, right? Isaac has better acceleration, better vert. Again, he's always getting crushed on strength, okay? Now, when we come down here on defense, look at this. It's not even close. So I don't want to hear Thurl Bailey as being anything. Thurl Bailey is probably like the fifth or sixth best defensive player in the game now, right? He was really good at one point in time, and he does have out, out of everybody, out of, you know, um, Alonzo Mourning, Carl Malone, Jonathan Isaac, he has the second best release on the, release between them all. Jonathan Isaac has the best release out of everyone, all of them. So not only that, but Jonathan Isaac also has hot zones at the elbows too so like he just to me Jonathan Isaac is a slept on card he is one of the he is the best or in the mix so I guess I could say like he's either he's definitely in the mix that's all I'm gonna say he's on my bench I do not recommend him putting that small forward right because I feel like that just takes away and again if I want to preach this why would you put such a great perimeter defender and take away from it Scotty Pippen is my small forward why would I put Scottie Pippen on the bench when he's like one of the best two-way players in the game? Why would you put Paul George on the bench or have him like... What, basically, what I'm saying is that the shooting guard in small four positions are meant for some of the most elite two-ways in the game. Do not put this guy at small forward. Put him at power forward and let him cook at the power forward position. He has more an advantage at the power forward position, okay? So, in my humble opinion, Jonathan Isaac is by far the best power forward perimeter defender he also is right there in the mix as the overall def um, defender in um, the power forward position. But I'm curious to hear what y'all got to say. What do y'all think? Who do y'all believe is the best power forward defender in the game? But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.